Hi, welcome everyone. In today's video, we are going to learn few more important things. First of all, we'll start with uh, models on detailed panel data using uh, Stata, and in that panel data models like fixed and random effect model, we'll also work on some of the diagnostic texts, which are uh, some of them are already available in Stata, and some of them we will install it while we are doing it. So these are the some tests that we will be doing it. So first of all, we'll start with the data today. So we have a data set of few companies and and it's, it has one ID variable, which is the you know, name uh, coded number of a company. Then the year data, this is the last year uh, calendar, last uh, calendar day, uh, last day of the calendar year and then some variables so we'll just copy it so the fastest way is to control shift right and down and just copy it so there are 61 companies in it then we'll go and open stata so i've already added its link in the start menu and you can open a stata you have to just go in the data and paste the data in the first box it will ask that if the first first row is data or variable names since in my excel file the first row is the variable name so i will mark variable names here you have to also make sure that uh, none of the columns which are numerical data is in red if it is red it means there is some typo where the numerical data there are some characters in it so stata is assuming that it is a character data rather than a numeric data Similarly, the year data is not in a simple year number. So what you have to do is you have to convert it into a coded data and assume each number as a uh, new number. So what will we what we will do is that I will cross it and then I will go here and write encode year and generate time. So we will create a new code. So if you go back in the data, you will see that is a new coded variable it has a, it is coded as one two three four so on and then repeat it again for each company now i have to tell stata that it is a panel data for that the command is xt set first first pillar is the id which is the identification of a company and then time which is the identification of time or a year so when i do it it says that uh, it is uh, strongly balanced mean uh, for each uh, for each cross section the number of years are equal so this way stata knows that it is a panel data now what i will do is i will estimate the uh, simple regression uh, and, and uh, sim in simple regression the command is same as the previous commands that you do for simple ols in that case i will write the command so my model was a reg and ROA, LN ESG, LN risk, LN size. So when I run, it will assume that there is no, the cross sections and time periods are random uh, and, and they are not similar to each other or there is no enough information in, in it. So this will be my pooled OLS regression. So in pooled OLS, first of all, we'll check for heteroscelasticity. So XT, uh, that is E stat estimation statistics at test when i run this it is saying that there is some degree of heteroscedasticity in it okay so it means that this model is not sufficient we and, and we can also have east at ov test which is over identification or reset test and we run it it's also saying that there is some missing variables and and they are what they are the cross-section identifiers which will be covered in the uh, fixed effect model so we will run the fixed effect model what i will do is do page up twice three times so that we can go back to the first command i will change it to fixed effect model st reg and variables comma uh, fe when i run it it's my fixed effect model it's written here and and you can notice one test shown in the bottom this is a test of between fixed effect and OLS so if it is significant it means a fixed effect is better than OLS now we have to do the Hausman test to make sure if fixed effect and 
which one is better between fixed and random fact so first of all we'll st we have to store these estimates so estimates store fe and then we'll run model again with re I when I do page up so you can see the history when I do page up it goes up and shows the command this is the random effect model I will store this its estimates estimates store re now I have to do houseman test houseman houseman fe re so it is significant it means that fixed effect model is better than the random effect model you, you can study the lit literature to look for uh, more details why significant means f is better than re there is another test called xt test 0 when i run it this test is a comparison between re and ols so it is also significant which means re model is better than ols so by conclusively we found out that re is better than ols fe is better than ols and fe better than re so it means we will use the fixed effect model so we'll go, we'll go back and estimate the fixed effect model again and store its residuals so the command is uh, predict resid comma residuals so what is saying that predict a new variable whose name is resid and it should be the residuals of the above model so this way we have stored the residuals so first for the first of the diagnostic test that should be done is that is a sk test resid it will check if the residuals are normal according to this test it is not normal so but we have another command that we have taken which is for panel data that is lmnadxt so this is this is a new command so how we can learn it how to write that is help this command so you it, it will show you a tutorial you will go down and see the example so command variable names id identifier and time identifier so i will go back and see the equation so lmadt roa lnesg lnirsk ln size and comma id means id so we already know them our ID, id identifier is id and time identifier is time so id time so when i run this it will do the uh, panel data normality test so it is saying that data is normal uh, so we can assume the data is normal using this test okay so this is the normality test then we'll go for a test on like the we can do for a serial autocorrelation so the command is xt serial xt serial and same variable names roa ln esg ln irsk ln size so it's estimates not found so what this command will only work if the fixed effect model is the last one so it's not working why because the new command that has done it has uh, made stata to forget what was the panel data setting so you have to do xt set id time again then do the fixed effect model then do the xt set xt serial so there is some autocorrelation so there is first problem that has been shown then we'll go for uh, then we'll go for heteroscedasticity the first command is xt test 3 so it is done after the fixed effect model so fixed effect and then xt test 3 so it is saying that it is not recognizable so it means we have to install it the all the commands where you see the errors like this you can have to install it for your new stata so the fastest way is to write ssc install xt test 3 if you are lucky that the module and the command name are same so when i run this it will search online for that you have to make sure your internet is connected it has uh, checked online and it has uh, uh, checked that it is already installed so we need to check how to run it so help xt test 3 so when i go in help 
so when I go down it is saying that you have to run fixed work model then run write xt test 3 so we'll go back and do the fixed work model again and then xt test 3 so it is saying that there is group wise heterosclerosis t because the null hypothesis was no heterosclerosis t so alternative we selected so another problem of heterosclerosticity is detected so there are two more tests that can be used both you have to install it so I will show first one uh, second one is little bit different so I will edit e so all letters should be small then I will write the command that is ROA ln ESG ln RISK ln size so when I run this so it is EXG it's ESG so E SG. so how I find out so it is saying the variable not found so I found out that the spelling names are wrong I go down ID or ID and IT for time so when I run this it will show me regression results and then heteroscedasticity test so it is saying that there is heteroscedasticity because it is significant so HA is accepted so this way we have done heteroscedasticity test so we have done normality reset serial correlation so xt reset test can be done for panel data we have done it for pool regression we can do this one too so we have to do fixed effect model again for that we have to do the uh, xt set again then fixed effect model then this command and r should be small and then roa ln esg ln resk ln size ID for ID and IT time identifier for time. When I run this, it is saying that there is some error. So what what we can do is help the reset XT. So when I go there, it will show me the example, uh, the command. If you go down, it will tell me how to do that model. So I will let's, let's see some examples. So yes, so in that. You have to make sure you have to tell that it is fixed effect model so model xtfe so i will go back and in that model xtfe so it is estimating the fixed effect model and then let me know the reset test so it will give us 10 types of reset test out of 10 six are insignificant so majority is insignificant we can assume that there is no regression specification error model is specified so up till now we have found out two problems that is hetero test and and the the autocorrelation test so uh, we will talk about that in our coming videos thank you very much for watching